right now there's someone who's listening to the show and they have dreams and those dreams are always tagged with someday. I want you to coach them as to why right now is the time. Yeah, I'm fascinated by this. The someday notion, and you know, it's been said many times, like someday isle, you know, the island of someday. Um, mm -hmm. The I, I get curious whenever I hear this and I get curious whenever I say it to myself. Okay, um, let's try and parse this out. Is this delay because that's what it is. It's a delay. Is it rooted in reality, which is that, no, I actually have to wait till I retire before I move to Greece, okay, for example? Mm -hmm. Sure. Which oftentimes there are legitimate reasons why we can't do the things we want to do. I understand that. Sure. But you can already gotta, tell me where I'm going yeah, with this. <laughs> totally. I've got kiddos in high school or whatever. You've got responsibilities. I understand. Exactly. So sometimes circumstances do exist. I'm not you know, completely out to lunch. But I, where I'm going with this is that I want us to interrogate reality and say, how much of this dream that I'm deferring, this existence I'm postponing, is it because there's an actual circumstance that I need to work around versus fear, versus discomfort, and versus the fact that if I was to try to find a way to move to a cool little, I get a little place on a cool little island off Seattle, or if I was to find a way to try to sketch again, or to learn how to speak Italian, or to do something that it actually represents a change in my life that I'm actually a little bit like nervous to make. Or maybe it means that I have to come up with a, like a negotiation with my spouse about, well, I'm going to be out of the out of the out of the house every Saturday morning, and what's that going to do to the whole routine? You know, if I go and take the pottery class that I want to take? Or what if it means that I really want to go back to school and I apply and I don't get in? And I'm not really in the mood for that kind of rejection. So I think I'm just going to go continue to live my life with one day I'm going to apply, quote unquote, when I have more time or have more money. I mean, so I so I think that if we just get real with ourselves, and this is just a flavor I do not like in the, like, I do not like this taste personally in my mouth, but it is very true. I think a lot of the times when we are saying someday, it is because, you know, we fall on very reasonable excuses that we don't have time or we're waiting for work to die down. Well, you know what? Like, let's just wait for that day to come when work's dying down. Because if your work is dying down, it means that there may be some other, <laughs> other issues going on. Sometimes it's a good indication. But um, so I just want us to get deeply suspicious and not so that we then feel bad about ourselves and judge ourselves. Like, here I go again, not taking action. But to be able to use that as, okay, you know what? I acknowledge that I'm scared. but and and. Why might I be scared? Because what could this like? If you're scared, it means that the like the stakes are maybe high, right? Mm -hmm. You see a lot of this in the work you do, right, with people. Like, For what sure. percent do you think it is versus actual legit circumstance? Like, I need to save seventy thousand more dollars to do the thing versus Ooh. I'm just kind of squeamish to do it. 